The whole approach to Chappie. I wanted to blur the lines between reality and fiction. It's about the police service being entirely replaced with robotic police droids. Dion is one of the programmers who is responsible for creating the robotic model that is seen all over the streets. The thing that constantly grounds me in my character is he's trying to find the next step in evolution, which is going to be a machine. He's trying to pitch this idea to the head of this big weapons manufacturer. I think I've cracked the world's first artificial intelligence, the computer system that might be smarter than a human. No, no, I'm sorry, Dion. I mean, that's what sets off this whole mission to steal this robot and, and madness ensues. This is a new kind of life, a new step in evolution. It has to learn. I have to teach it. In this world, Chappie begins to develop artificial intelligence. Your name, Chappie. Chappie. Chappie has his own mind and becomes alive. Have you seen this? Do you know about this? A thinking robot could be the end of mankind. This robot has got to be removed. My character develops this robot called the Moose. This sort of horrible looking, terrifying weapon. This is your day of reckoning. The film deals with issues around artificial intelligence and what would actually happen. Chappy, listen to me. Something of great danger is coming to destroy our world. If you want to survive, and Chappie, you must fight. The movie just does a lot of different things in a way that only Neil can do. Chappie, help us! There's a lot of action in it, in the juiciest way. You hurt my people! There's so many elements. You know, I'm a fan of these kinds of movies, which is why I make them.